Okay, everybody, we're back here with the uh, 74 KS125 again. Uh, I am still waiting on everything to be done with the cylinder and the new piston. Uh, hopefully that can will be done fairly soon. We'll be able to put that all back together. But once that's back together, theoretically, this thing should run. Now, I don't really know what the condition of the carburetor is. I have taken this cover off and just looked at it. But you know what we're going to do? We're going to actually pull it apart and clean it. So in this video, I will be showing you how to get this carburetor out and then showing you what it looks like inside. So I guess I'll set you up for a time lapse while we get all of this taken off so that we can get down to the carburetor. Well, we got off all the bolts now. See, this is loose. Now we can pull this off. And there it is. The carburetor in all of its glory. So, there's just, uh, just kind of presses into some rubber. Uh, like a little rubber grommet back there, essentially. Uh, doesn't look like there's even a clamp on it. So, let's see what the deal is with the these hoses up or the throttle cables. Let's pull this up very carefully. Slide that up. Okay. So here are our throttle cables. Let's see if we can throttle and choke. This will slide up anymore. Because you're going to want to just pull the slide off to let her out to get the throttle cable out. But the choke, I'm not entirely sure. Now, the slide should stay attached to the throttle cable because there will still be a spring holding the tension on the cable. But once I slide this off, and look at that right there, there's a little bit of play. That may be a vacuum leak. Uh, hopefully it isn't, but we'll see. We're almost there. Okay, so now that's off. The slide should pull out with that. Now let's see about sliding the carburetor out. So it looks like there's a little piece of rubber down here. Pull that out. It's a little tight. I didn't bring all of my tools with me, so I didn't bring any pliers. Probably should have. But if we give this a little wiggle, I think this carburetor. There it goes. Now the carburetor is off. Right there, you can see the rubber piece that it was sitting in. And it feels to be in pretty good shape. So, uh, I guess I'll get to taking this choke cable off and then we'll have the carb off. Okay, y'all. I got the carburetor out. So, oops, still some drain out. Right here, that's where that choke was. And it was just stuck in there. Uh, I just kind of pulled a little bit harder and it slid out. Now the first thing I want to do now that we have it off is go ahead and take this bowl off. Okay, that one came loose. That one came loose. And now I, I have not seen inside of it. This is the first time I've had the car about. So let's see. Go there. 
Now I did shake it and try and drain the gas a little bit and I could hear that the floats or floats or float. I don't know. If, I think it's just one, but it was moving, which is a good sign. Uh, it means it's not probably super crusty in there and everything's all seized up, which that can just absolutely ruin a carburetor. But hopefully this one is all a-okay. So there's two of them out. Now very carefully open this as to not try and hurt a seal. Okay. That is fairly stuck on there. Okay, with a little persuasion, popped right off. Ooh, that is fairly crusty in there, but it should be savable. So let's look right here. Here's the actual carb itself. And yep, the float is moving. Let's pull float off if we can. There's a little needle that holds the float. We'll need a test to make sure this does still float. Because uh, it is fairly grimy. Let's look and see here. Well, there's the needle. And it's got a metal end on it. So that means we can probably reuse it. But it is very dirty. So realistically, I'm going to need to get some and soak all of this to clean it. Uh, the main jet, it is just really bad. So probably what I'll do is I'll take this and I will first soak this whole thing in WD-40. And then I'll try and get that jet out. And then after that, I'll soak the whole thing in carb cleaner for a few days. And then I will get back to you once I've done that. Well, everybody, the carburetor has been sitting for the last few days in some WD-40. Uh, the jet actually looks a little bit better. Um, but the important thing will be to see if it will come out. So I've just got a, the widest flathead bit I have for my screwdriver. I'm going to stick it in here. Oh, like butter. There we go. The main jet's out. Let's see. Sorry, I'm going to have to pull it out of the camera for a second. Try and see if there's a number on it. There's not. But if y'all can see, I don't know if it's focusing. This jet is clogged 100%. Like there's nothing getting through that jet. So that'll need to be cleaned out. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go through and I'm going to just kind of clean this up with a little bit of a wire brush and then I have a whole bunch of carb cleaner and I will let this thing soak. So I will set you all up for a time lapse and you can see me just kind of clean this up.
Well everyone, it's been a few, about a week now since I recorded the last part of this video. And the carburetor has been sitting in carb cleaner this whole week. Uh, so now it's time to pull it out and see how it looks. So, I mean it's definitely cleaner. Uh, I did leave a fuel line that I couldn't get off attached. It needed to be replaced and that's what happens if you leave it in carb cleaner for a week. Uh, but I need to go through and actually like scrub everything down. So that's what I'll be doing now. I will get y'all ready for a time lapse and I'll just go through, scrub it, spray it, just give it an overall deep cleaning. Now that everything's all cleaned up, it is time to tackle another issue with this carburetor that I actually caused. And that is this, oh, hey, Renly. You can probably see the dog here. Move out of the way, buddy. Out of the film. Uh, but I tore this gasket when I was taking the carburetor apart and I need to make a new one. I'm sure you can buy them, but I'm too cheap. Gonna try it myself. One of my friends had a lot of this gasket paper, so I'm just going to give it a shot. But I'm going to essentially just trace it all out, cut it out, and then see if it works. So I'll set you all up for a time lapse while I make this gasket. 